Uh, Samsung warned. Okay, they said the general perception early this year was that the second half of the year would be better than the first half. And we heard that from almost all the semiconductors and almost all companies, right? Because supply chain concerns, we saw this massive demand because 11 trillion was injected to the market, massive demand. And they were like, holy shit, you know, it, it caused huge bottlenecks to supply chains. They couldn't produce things. And then the chip makers and stuff like that. And then what they do, right? We passed all these laws. Uh, let's build up more chip factories for, for, to, to meet this massive demand, right? But people forget the 11 trillion is already spent. People got that money and they spent it, right? <laughs> so... Now you're looking at you're taking a ton of money out of the system, and you know a lot of these orders and things like that were pre-orders, especially for EVs. And it's amazing because Samsung's not the only one uh, that's warning. Where you saw Micron, SK Hynix, Nvidia, right? They're citing supply chain concerns for like the first time, which is not supply chain concerns; it's demand concerns. They're not going to say that. Uh, Intel and, and, and now Samsung, right? These are the biggest. These are the biggest. Samsung is the biggest, right? They make the most chips next to Taiwan Semi, actually. Uh, and you're seeing them warn. But here's what the head of Samsung's device solutions division, I'm quoting him here, and it's important for you to understand this, and I wish the Fed would freaking read a little bit, and, and they'd understand what's going on in the markets. They said that general perception earlier this year was, was that the second half would be better than the first, but from April to May, one month, it changed drastically. I'm quoting. So he said, the world is changing so quickly. Think about that line. Because the same thing happened to retailers, Walmart and Target. They usually come out and they'll give you a warning and say, listen, sales aren't that good. Earnings aren't going to be, we're going to come low. They didn't even get a chance. And that's why their stocks fell by the largest amount. One day drops, both of them saw since the 1987 market crash. Because out of nowhere, what they did is you have all this money, massive demand, and these companies are great and figured out their supply chains and said, shit, now we got all this inventory here. It's massive. And then demand falls off a cliff. Now, what do you do? You have to sell for much lower prices. Same thing happened with home builders. Listen to the home builders quarters two quarters ago, last quarter, and this quarter. Just go through the transcripts. You can find them anywhere. Demand, we're not seeing any drop off, any drop. This time, we're seeing a drop off. We're slowing down. We're cutting. That usually doesn't happen that fast. Usually, you see a warning. They're not seeing the warning. It's happening immediately because that's what higher interest rates are doing right now. Why? It's not just higher interest rates because you're raising interest rates by the highest amount in the history. Not history. I won't go to history. But since 1994, that's the last time we saw a 75 basis point hike. And we've seen two of them, and people are now predicting a third one. When you have a hike of that magnitude, this is what you have in a monthly time frame where businesses can't see shit. So now you have all these supply chain concerns, and it was all, listen, we're having trouble meeting demand. So let's build like crazy because we need the supply. Now you're building. Now you're getting the supply. Demand's falling off a cliff. It's the worst scenario possible. You want to see how terrible it is, you'll see during Black Friday. Why? Because these are the chip companies, Daniel. Right? The chip companies. What do the chip companies do? Because we're going to put in perspective. And these are for people who are looking to invest in technology and growth and stuff like that, especially the hardware companies. So smartphones, TVs, washing machines, refrigerators, laptops, LED light bulbs, thermostats, healthcare devices, smartwatches, EVs. Everything that uses sensors. Rail cars, trucks, cars, planes. You have software programs, which are high-end computers for AI data analytics. Right? This is with semiconductors. Hundreds of them go into some of these things. Right? Including planes and cars. All smart home devices. Drones. Those are all the industries that fueled growth over the past 12 years. And right now, the semiconductors, the nuts and bolts, right? These are the companies that make the parts that go into all this are saying that we're seeing a massive slowdown. So it does make sense. People buying fewer homes, right? You have appliances and all this stuff and smart homes, right? You're going to see less of those. Price for EVs have skyrocketed to the point it barely saves you more money compared to gas vehicles as of today. They've risen tremendously with batteries and lithium and all that price is going through the roof. So people are starting to cancel these pre-sales. You have household wealth is declining. 70% of it comes from housing where prices are falling and the markets and everyone's down around 20% or more on their portfolio, meaning that they're not going to buy or maybe not buy that, you know, the really expensive next generation iPhone, which is, you know, going to be exactly the same, maybe with one minor, you know, the picture is going to be a little bit better in, in the camera as the one you have, right? As, as, as a 13. So, yeah, those are the nuts and bolts that saying that demand is slowing. And, and what they're saying in reality is that GDP is slowing since their products go into millions of products to fuel the growth. Throwing the fact that China US tensions are increasing, you know, China's closing tens of thousands of fact uh, uh, of closing, you know, tons of factories, still factories are closed to, to, for COVID. Uh it's a clear sign. This is the sign, right? That inflation is is going to ease in the months ahead, but it's also a sign that we're in a global recession which is always determined three to six months later. We're in it right now, and we see it. China, Europe, we're in it. We're, we're going that way too with higher interest rates. So just something to think about. 
I thought that was pretty big news considering the Fed sees no signs of inflation slowing and everything's cool, even though everything we buy electronically, the people who make them are all warning. They're all starting their one. Not every semiconductor. Broadcom was okay. We have one on our portfolios, a few of them, but a lot of them are starting to warn about these orders, which I think is significant and it's not getting enough coverage. Absolutely. And you can't, listen, it's not, you never want to have the same strategy all the time. There's a time to be off uh, on offense. There's a time to be on defense. To your bigger point, the reality is not to say anything that's not crystal clear right now. Hey, markets are in a tough bear market. Stocks, everything is waiting on the Fed. Speculative assets like crypto and things have gotten hurt. There's nothing wrong with being defensive here and paying attention to this. And you're right. This, this isn't getting that much news that you and I think it should. We read this as a line. Uh, as just news passing. And a lot of times you can get caught up in that. You're so, whether you're looking at news or, you know, wh- whatever view you share or what side, you can, it can become numb to you and you think, oh, wow, look at this, a big Samsung just, just warned. Is that a big deal? Yes, it's a big deal. It's a when very you look big under deal. The hood. And that's what you want to do. When you look under the hood, it's a big deal. It's exactly. It's not just like Samsung, your typical company that's warning. Right. It, you know, uh, on top of that with Micron and NVIDIA and all these other companies, it's, it's, yeah, you're seeing that. Wow. They all said that every one of them, if you go to Q1, said second half is going to be freaking blockbuster. We're going to kill it. Yep. Our supply chains are easing now. We're going to get things back online. All this, Well, demand fell off a cliff and now you're sitting on massive supply. So when you go Black Friday, don't buy anything. Don't buy your TVs because Black Friday, <laughs> cameras, wait. You are going to see the greatest deals you've seen probably in 10 years. Seriously, you're going to be able to buy 70-inch TVs for less than $500. It's going to be insane. That's how much inventory these companies have right now. And then they're trying to hide it and not going to be able to hide it, but you're seeing it earnings. It's why earnings are getting lowered. That's why they're lowering their earnings and their guidance themselves. Even though they say 70% of these companies, Dan, right now are beating uh, your analyst estimates. It's because they're being lowest significantly. Right. And I covered that the other day too with earnings coming down. So you know, just be careful. 